Greetings out there in YouTube land. I'm Christy Howard with K-Factor Internet Marketing here to provide a video to you, for you today. And this video is focused around fear. Um, a lot of people think that the opposite of fear, or if you asked a lot of people what the opposite of fear is, they'd probably say courage. And today I have a little bit of a different spin on it for you, and that is the opposite of fear is focus, huh? How about that? Have you ever thought about that? Well, the reason why I say that, first off, let me give credit where credit is due. I was doing some training this morning, some video training, and I was watching a little James Weedmore, one of my favorite video um, video training personalities here on YouTube, and he said that the opposite of fear was focus. Well, he was talking about it. He said it very very briefly and went on, but I kind of sat there and, and, and thought about it for a little bit, and after the training, I thought about it a little bit harder, and I said, you, you know, most of the time, people would say that the opposite of fear is courage, because they think that if you are courageous, that is the opposite of fear, and in some ways, that is true, not to discount that, but the best way for you to get over your fear is to focus on something that is bigger, you know, um, I was on a webinar and someone said something to the effect of if you're if the pain of going forward, no, if the pain of going backwards is greater than the pain of pushing forward, then you're in a good space. And what he meant by that was that, you know, if it's more painful for you to digress and go back from whence you came, then the only way forward for you, the only way that you can bear can stand to bear is to push forward because that pain is lesser. You know, it may be hard, it may be a struggle, um, but it's, it's, it's more feasible for you to push forward than for you to regress back because that pain is stronger. And I think that that kind of plays into fear too because a lot of times we don't move forward because we have fears and fears hold us back from progress. But I think that if you have a really big why, and your why makes you cry, thank you furry hat guy, if, if, if you have a really big why of why you need to progress forward and you know that the pain of going back is, is so great and you, you realize you know that you can't keep doing that, that you've made a decision that you can't keep doing that, then pushing forward becomes a little bit more easy, easy and feasible for you. So um, I wanted to leave you with that today, that a lot of times we have fear, and fear tends to have a tendency to hold us back from realizing our goals. And I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera right now because I had something pop up on my screen. But sometimes sit back and think about what it is that you need to be focusing on, and maybe that'll help you to overcome your fear, you know, um, whether it's, you know, you're focusing on getting a specific task to accomplish or just think about like when firefighters I'm sure firefighters are, are scared to go into a building that is presumably on fire or catching fire or that may fall down at any moment or to climb up a you know a tall tree to get a cat or I don't know if firefighters really do that but I'm sure that their job entails a lot of fear every single day and the way that I look at it and I actually read a story on the internet is that the only way for them to channel that energy, because fear is energy, take that energy and rechannel it in a positive way that's going to help them make a positive impact, is for them to channel that fear into focus and focus on the needs of the other person. I think that once you take that fear, rechannel it and focus it on the task at hand, like saving someone's life, you know, whether it be that you're literally saving someone's life like in a firefighter or if you're in internet marketing and you're trying to help people to change their life if you're trying to save someone's life in a in a, in a um in a financial sense you know you're trying to save their financial life um that you need to focus on the needs of other people and we talk about that a lot in our business when we talk about adding value and making content that gives people value well the next time that you're afraid to get on the phone and talk to a prospect or maybe you're afraid to get on video and make a video like I'm doing right now take that fear and channel it into to your why if your why is to help people okay and and I think a larger sense of us you know a lot of us think our why is financially driven which we all need money money is a tool we need it to survive you know it it, it provides us with the luxuries, the necessities that we need in life, but a lot of us have a deeper why that goes far beyond money, and that is to help other people, whether it be for selfish reasons or not, that helping other people makes us feel good and validates us. 
you know, so rather it be because you want to make yourself feel good or you honestly want to help more people, um, if you try to shift your focus into channeling that fear, that energy that you have that's making you fearful to move forward into, I really want to focus in and help this person get started. I really want to, you know, want to help this person succeed you know I think what you'll find on the other side of fear is focus one and trust two because people I think that comes through you when you're being genuine and you're really trying to help people and you're that focused on it that comes through and that's going to do several things that's going to make you feel that validation that you need inside that you're doing a good thing it's going to help you to grow your business and it's definitely going to help your bottom line so I'm Christy Howard with K Factor Internet Marketing. Um, please go ahead and click thumbs up on this video and tell me that you liked it. It really helps me out a lot. And down below in the description box, you'll see that there is some links down there. I would really like for you to hook up with me on Facebook and tell me that you found me on YouTube and that we can be friends now. So hook up with me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Your follow gets a follow back from me automatically. I have it set up that way. And I would love to hear from you. So again, I'm Christy Howard with K-Factor Internet Marketing. Don't forget to go below and get my goodies. And I will see you guys the next time.